Your performance problem is, why is my dev guy talking to my production machine? Right? Now, no, now I know in your environment everything is really strictly VLAN off and it's impossible for a development machine to actually mount a share from, from a production machine. But the other, the turkey sitting next to you, they don't do that. They're just, yeah, no, no attention to detail. Um, I mean, actually, the, the, the reality is most of us don't use VLANs, right? VLANs are great, but they're a giant pain in the ass, and, and they're a huge tax. And in most environments, your production QA and, and development can kind of get to one another, right? It depends on what your application is doing and so on. If you're in financial services and you've got regulatory constraints, it's different. But for most of us, we just don't have the time and the money to go do everything we'd want to do from, from a VLAN perspective. So you may discover, it's like, what the hell, is, why is this machine accessing this? Right, and actually, to, to, to that point, Let's take one of these that's being accessed a lot, and hopefully being accessed frequently, ADT, and I can actually drill down on that file by type of op, by client, by share, and so on. So let's actually drill down by client. I, I, oh no, no, it stopped being accessed. Damn it, <laughs> I need to get something that's, all right, let's get something that I, is still being accessed. What are you accessing now? Uh, something, it needs to be something consistent here, or we're gonna be, we can drill down by client, but if it stops accessing, of course, it's not very interesting. Um, so let's see here, if we, how about that? That looks, oh, damn, damn it, eh. <laughs> All right, let's, let's hope this thing's not done with that. Let's see, I don't know, it's looking done, damn it. All right, well, what you would say, of course, if this continued, oh, hey, there we go, good. Um, okay, there's my laptop, uh, which is a relief. I mean, if that were like your machine, I would know that you're trying to fuck with me during my presentation, which would be a problem. <laughs> um, um, so, um, we, but this can, just this can, of course, allow you to answer some really powerful questions. And by the way, from a D-Trace perspective, let me just take you behind the scenes a little bit. Uh, and this is not something I would normally do. Are well, you done already? Um, but right, let's go on to that machine. Uh, and actually, um, let's go on to, let me just show you the D-Trace that's actually generated there. Um, let's, we'll SSH on there. So this is going on to the appliance now. And what I'm gonna do um, is, uh, close your eyes, um, you, you didn't see that. Um, so th you're not supposed to be here, but I'm here, but th th that's, if you buy an appliance, don't, don't do this. Um, <laughs> under penalty of death or something. Uh, okay, so um, let's go take, um, so let's go back here, and it's not doing any work right now, that's why you don't see anything there. But l let me just take another one of these guys, I'm gonna close this thing, and we'll just drill down on this, even though we know it's not doing any work, and drill down on that by client. And, okay, so uh, this here, and let me make that bigger. So you can see, that, that I'm, we don't present this to the user because this is basically debug output, but you, that is the actual Descript that is enabled to answer the question. So behind the scenes, you've got Dtrace. In this case, just with the predicate of, hey, if the path is the path that I clicked on, then, um, then I wanna aggregate on the remote address. It's not very complicated. This actually, you, there's actually a lot of complexity under the hoods here um, where this is what's called a translator where we translate from internal data structures to ones that are stable. Um, so you can actually rely on the script working even as we change the implementation of the NFS server. Um, but that's, that, that, that's kind of a, that's an orthogonal point. But they, so anyway, you can see how Dtrace is actually being used under the hood to go do all this. Uh, and let me go back to my, um, so um, we'll, we, we'll iconify you. Yeah, and you're just doing it again. You were doing it again, my friend. Clean, Clean thank you. Why am I kind of clear? Because I'm used to, thank you. Everyone's a critic. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, let's uh, catch up to real time again here. And we can uh, see it doing work. And let's actually, so uh, this was kind of the, um, this was the state uh, of analytics as we, as we first developed it. Uh, this is after about the first year of, of development. Um, we just kind of polished it up. Uh, and even with this, you can find things that are, that are incredibly important that you can't find any other way. To give you a concrete example, um, some of you may know uh, Don McCaskill is the CEO of SmugMug. Um, SmugMug is, a, a, is one of our customers, um, ended up being a very aggressive early adopter. Um, like many of our customers, ended up being a bit of an accidental early adopter in that they put the box in production, uh, and then he had another box pop on him, and so he had to throw a bunch of load onto this machine that he was gonna take off the next morning, but then it just, kind of absorbed the load, it did, I mean, because we are actually delivering a uh, much faster box than one typically has in the NAS space. I can generally deal with a, a pretty high amounts of load, so he ended up just leaving it there. So the next thing you know, his entire business is running on our box, which is not exactly what he intended, um, but that's how he got there. And one of the things, he used analytics, broke down by file, 
And what is something he sees? He sees uh, one of the MySQL local cache files being written to on his NAS box. It's like, what the hell is that? It's like, this should not be, this is a local cache file, should never be written over NFS, breaks down by client, and the second he breaks down by client, he has this kind of oh shit moment, where he's like, oh yeah, right. And he remembered that something like a year and a half prior, he was in the middle of doing some surgery, and the, something was wrong with slash temp on some, you know, on some local MySQL machine, and he had pointed this thing to his NAS box just so he could do the surgery, got the database up and running, and forgot to move it back. Don't! And especially for Don, for whom MySQL, it, MySQL performance is, is the absolute essence of his business. Don't! So he fixed that immediately, and of course performance, uh, he saw a huge pop in, I mean, uh, latency improved, the, the whole box improved. You don't need to print out another purchase order, perhaps. Um, perhaps it's just you've got too much load pointed at the box. You've got load pointed at the box accidentally. So th that's an example of what I was talking about in terms of being able to see the wrong machine doing the wrong thing. The best way to, to, uh, to make your system perform better, by the way, is not to make work incrementally faster, but to do less work. Don't do the stupid stuff. That is the way to make your machines much faster, your infrastructure much faster. So that was great. Um, we, we, we had that out there, uh, or, or we, we'd done this, but there was something that was, that was gnawing at me in particular, or gnawing at us, and that is, okay, these ops are fine, and it's great that we can express this, but is a low number of ops a good thing or a bad thing? If you've got 500 ops, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Depends. How long is each op taking? <laughs> Right? If each op is taking 500 milliseconds, that's a bad thing. And you're doing 500 ops because the box can't do any more than that because that's how long each op is taking. But if, you, if, if the box isn't working that hard, uh, or if each op is only taking 10 microseconds, 100 microseconds, what have you, who cares? Right? So it, it, we wanted to find a way to express latency. Latency is hard to express, though. And latency is hard to express for the same reason that it, you're trying to express a distribution. I don't want to just give you a number. Because right? I could give you an average latency that is the latency of no operation, right? There is, it's the, the old average number of legs. You have a horse and a, and, and a person, both in good health. The average number of legs is three, but there is no three-legged animal, right? Same thing. So um, we, and you see that a lot. Um, now what are you doing? Um, so what I want to do, Lockheed not responding. There you are. Oh, okay. That's, don't do that to me now. Um, so what, what we wanted to actually be able to do is to be able to understand what was going on in terms of latency. So what I'm going to do is, and if that, uh, uh, no, you're working. You seem to be working anyway. Well, you know something? I'm not sure what that. No, what that. Yeah, I. The, <laughs> if you want to say afterwards, we can debug that. Let's see if it. If it. Uh, in the meantime, I want load. I'll, we'll, we'll go debug that later. Um, that is probably, to be honest, I hope there's, that, that's a, probably a client-side issue, my, my experience with the Mac client. Mac client is great, I love Mac. But, um, okay, so what actually, let's, then let's just do this. If you, um, so, um, that's not funny. All right, let's do this. Um, let me, um, instead of breaking down by ops, what I wanna do is actually break down by latency. And what I'm going to see here, when I go back and put some load on the box, and we're going to go figure out what's going on here with, let's see if we can go, let's go connect it up, please. Now you're going to have to stay up on this? Nope. Yeah, of course. Okay, so let's actually do this. That seems fine, we'll do this. <laughs> let's do what works. All right, so what we can see here is the actual uh, latency of the operations, um, and this is actually a much more, and, and you can see, of course, now that we're doing no work, <laughs> um, we are presumably, and we could actually break down on those ops. Actually, let's do that, I would assume that now those operations, of course, are, are much, they're, those should be just be stats. Let's actually break down by type of op. And those are just accesses, right? So, whereas before, we can see now the, the difference between when we were actually removing those files and when we are no longer removing those files. Let's actually, let's, let's do try to make that again. See if you, if you, here, if you wanna make it. Let's see if you can. And now we'll see, as we actually start doing the disk operations, we'll see that, that latency climb a bunch. What's going on with Lochte? Um, 
Okay, so let's actually, I want to change it to a, uh, let's, uh, no, I'm done with that. 